So I'm going to show you a little tip I use for removing lock nuts when you haven't got the uh, the key for it. So it works good on this this type. But, um, if you haven't got this type, you can um, you can drill like a small hole here just for for grip. But these uh, work nice because they already have like a plenty of places to grip. I've just marked it out a bit tip so as you can you might see it pick it up on the video when it actually breaks loose. And um, I just put a piece of red masking tape here just to protect it. So we'll be using this as the an, an air chisel. I have a kind of ground down to a point. There, just let me use it a good bit, but uh, nothing, nothing fancy, but uh, does the trick. So the idea is to get the air chisel in into into the to the nut, kind of straight on, just to get a little indentation, and then as it's as you're tipping away, tilt it backwards, and it'll force the nut around in the anti-clockwise motion that you need to for um to loosen the nut so we'll give it a quick go see if we can get see can we get this one off so just into one of the into one of the ridges give it Drop a couple of times there, so it's just using one hand. But uh, you can see that they're gone loose there now. And, uh, it's actually finger tight there now. Screw it off, but get it out there now. Um, like that, it does work on a few. It does work on a few different types of lock nuts. Um, I've used it also on the Peugeot ones, which can be problematic as well. But they just get into a little grip into the into the edge. So that's it. If you found it anyway helpful at all, or any questions, just post them in the comments and uh, thumbs up and a subscription. It would be much appreciated. Thank you.